Hello everyone. Welcome to part seven of the video series on probability distribution. So today we are going to talk about the Poisson distribution. Now in the previous video, we talked about binomial distribution. Poisson distribution is really closely related to binomial distribution. So if you don't know about binomial distribution, feel free to check out my previous video. I'm going to leave the link of the video in the description. So let's dive in. Suppose my YouTube channel gets 1000 views every day. The probability of any viewers subscribing is 0.1 or 10% basically. What is the probability of me getting 200 new subscribers in a single day? I think those of you who know about binomial distribution already know that this problem is very easy to solve. If we assume that the total number of events or trials is 1000, I mean, we can just imagine views as events. And also we assume that a new subscription is one successful event. So there are 200 successes and probability of a subscription or a success is 0.1. We can just plug in these values in the binomial distribution PMF and then we can get the probability of this. Now the problem is typically, I actually won't know the probability of a viewer subscribing to my channel. So this probability of 0.1, this is something I have no way of knowing. I mean, no one really knows it. But what I can easily observe is the number of people subscribing to my channel per day on average. Maybe, uh, maybe I have been observing this for 30 days and I'm seeing that on an average, I get like 100 new subscribers per day. So that is my average subscription rate. Now, this average subscription rate can also be calculated using the 1000 views and the 0.1 probability. So if we multiply these two things, we are going to get 100 subscribers and this will be the number of subscriptions on average per day. So this lambda, it is called the infamous. I mean, it is not called the infamous. It is called the rate parameter, but it is the infamous rate parameter. And it is very, very popular. And it is basically the central logic behind the Poisson distribution. So we can simply say that this whole problem can be turned into a Poisson distribution with lambda equal to 100. So what we're saying is that, hey, my YouTube channel gets 100 new subscriptions per day, my rate of subscribers. So what is the probability that in a particular day, I get 200 new subscribers? So that question can be solved using Poisson distribution. And this is the probability mass function of the distribution. e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x by x factorial. Lambda is the rate parameter, the average rate, and x is the number of successful events or number of events we have observed. For example, we have observed 200 new subscribers or we are assuming that maybe I'm going to get 200 new subscribers in some day and I want to get the probability of that. So X will be 200 in this case. This Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution because number of events will be an integer value. It can be 0, 1, 2, etc. It cannot be 0 0.001 or things like that. So one very important concept here is in binomial distribution, the random variable X can be 0 to N. N means the number of trials. Whether it is unsuccessful or successful, the number of total trials is N. For example, here N is equal to 1000. But for Poisson distribution, we actually don't know the value of N. We only know the rate. So there is no N in Poisson. And that is why X or the number of successful events or number of events can be anything. For example, my new number of subscribers can be anything from zero to infinity in a single day. So the thing is, uh, in the above YouTube channel example, if you get this probability of getting 200 new subscribers using this uh, binomial distribution and using this lambda parameter of the Poisson distribution, the probability values will be very close. This is how the Poisson distribution PMF looks like. When lambda equal to five, then you can see that at x equal to five, we have the highest probability. And then the probabilities just keep going down in both sides. 
if you actually provide lambda equal to 50, we can see that around 50 there is the peak and then the probabilities gradually go down when we want the probability of like far more events than 50 or far less events compared to 50. So we can actually derive the Poisson distribution from binomial distribution. We all know this particular PMF function which we saw in the previous video on binomial distributions and we know that lambda equal to np from the previous slide so p equal to lambda by n, we can actually replace p of this equation by lambda by n, and we can assume that the number of event n or the number of trial n is infinity. If we make these two assumptions, then we can actually derive the Poisson PMF. Now the question is, why are we assuming n tends to infinity? This is the important question right here. So in our example, when we model the new YouTube subscriptions per day, using Poisson distribution, we consider each view as an event. And obviously every view has a chance of turning into a new subscription. So basically every event has a chance of turning into a success. But the issue is how many events are taking place per day? We don't know actually. As I said before, there is no restriction on the number of events n. it can be anything. We don't know that in advance. Now, we can assume that there can be one view every hour of the day. There can also be one view every minute. Some people can say, no, there can even be one view every second. And some people can even say that there can be one view every millisecond. So the time can be fractioned more and more and more to many school times. And in the limiting case, there will be infinite amount of uh, events taking place in a single day. So for Poisson distribution, we assume n to be infinity or n tends to infinity basically. So the CDF or cumulative distribution function is very simple for Poisson distribution since it is just a discrete distribution. So if someone tells you to get the probability of having less than or equal to k subscribers per day, you are simply going to add up all the cases of having zero subscription, one subscription, two subscription up until k subscription per day. And that's about it. The expected value will be like this. We are going to have to sum values from x equal to zero in zero subscription to infinite subscription. That is going to give us lambda. So remember that lambda was the right parameter. That means the number of new subscriptions, that is the number of new subscribers per day on average. So that is what we actually expect, right? So think of it, think of it intuitively. Suppose, suppose I see or I observe that I get uh, 100 new subscriptions or 100 new subscribers per day on average. So on a new day, I'm obviously going to expect that the number of new subscribers I'm going to get on that day is also 100 because that's what I, I get on average. And that's what the math also gives us. Now, the funny thing is the variance of this distribution is also lambda. Now let's see an example from biology. Suppose you observe three mutations on average per one megabase size genomic region. That means it is three mutations per one megabase. That means this is the rate parameter lambda. So what is the probability of seeing only one mutation in a one megabase size genomic region? So you have to get the probability of x equal to one. So you just plug in this x in the PMF function of the Poisson distribution, and that is going to give you the probability. So that is my friends all about Poisson distribution. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe and share. There is a donation link in the description. Feel free to donate to our channel if you want to help us to make good contents like this. Thank you very much.